the recording. Welcome back, everybody, to VIP Your Vibe. <laughs> Let me stop. Welcome back, everybody, to VIP Your Vibe with Alfred and Jay. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome all. New, new people, new subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. I love spending some time with you and talking to you. Okay, so um, I will explain myself every time for um, those of you that may be new. Uh, what I do is I help you. I do vibrational assessments, and I help you identify your spiritual blocks. Okay. Okay, this is what I do. So, uh, real quickly and swiftly, what's always on my board is create a position of strength. Okay. Create that position of strength. Stop the watching, wondering, and wishing away the energy. So you can develop the skills to build inner strength instead of outer strength. Okay. Analyze the way you move. Examine that self with a cold eye. Stop the self-created demons. And the self-created demons are the uh, fears. The fear of uh, society. Fear of making a mistake. Okay. Fear of the unknown. Fear of what society is going to say. A lot of people have, to have the fear of death as well. Okay. So meditation for self-balancing. Dying to that flesh, strengthening that soul. Meditating on understanding and self-correction. And observe the obvious in silence. Okay, so this is for cap. So any other zodiacs, I do use zodiac to identify in certain energies. So any zodiac that come out, uh, what I'm doing now, instead of saying you're dealing with this person, whatever zodiac come out, you're dealing with the same self mastery that you may need to clear up as well. Okay, so now I'll let you guys know that. So let's get started. Ooh. Get started here. Capricorn. This is for the cap. Let's see what your self mastery. And these are for people that's on their spiritual journey because we all have the spiritual responsibility and a duty to ourselves to evolve because we are all stars bound to a body. Okay? So you got to shake them and wake them. Father will shake you and he will wake you. I tell y'all all the time your energy will shape you, shift you, or shit you. Okay? And let's start with your thoughts. Let's see what we have. We got out here Gemini. Okay. Gemini twice. <laughs> Pop your box. I got to take that out. <laughs> okay. Saccharin. Shot call a saccharin here. Okay. Capricorn emotions. Mm-hmm. So, Cap, you guys rule the root chakra. Okay. <laughs> but your saccharin chakra here is blocked. Because you went, this Gemini over here. Have money desires our priority when making your choices. So you and this Gemini make money and your desires a priority when you're making your choices. And that's a spiritual block. Okay, Sacrin Chakra has some, um, the shot caller Sacrin deals with um, emotions, relationships. It's blocking that out. Okay, so you can't create a position of strength on your journey when this shock is blown out. The shock is blocked. You got to work your uh, shock collar sacrament out. Okay? You and this Gemini over here. Because what happens is when y'all make y'all decision, y'all money and your desires are priority when making your choices. Okay? Your vibe is taking a dive. Yeah. Now you can't create a position of strength like that. I can go all day on that. You can't create a position of strength off of money and desires. Yeah. You're in the energy to deceive off of money and desires. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need to examine yourself with a cold eye off the money and desires that you make priority or making your choices. So that means you, Capricorn, you and this Gemini date people and y'all get in certain situations on what people have if they have money, not love, okay? That's a big spiritual block. You and this Gemini don't have right here no self-dignity, no respect either when it comes to money and your desires, Okay? Because y'all got the fear of change and the fear of the unknown, the fear of failure. The fear of failure energy is driving you too. You see, I just, I, look, I can shut y'all the whole, whole, whole read down right there. Just off money and your desires. Yeah, your vibe is definitely, definitely taking a dive. So, sexual desires, yeah, all that. So, um, shot collar throat is out here. Yeah, y'all need to ask yourself a question, Capricorn. Do you have a sense of integrity? When you have a sense of integrity, your throat chakra is balanced. Are you accepting and trusting and acting on your inner guidance? No, you're not. You are this Gemini. So your throat chakra is blocked. 
So your throat chakra, the zodiacs is connected to the throat chakra, is um, Gemini. Once again, you're definitely dealing with a Gemini in the picture, and the Gemini is also making their choices uh, for money and desires as well. That's a priority, okay? So both of you guys, yeah, yeah Gemini strong in your cap. Just read right now. Ask yourself, do you have a sense of integrity? No, you no. Accepting and trusting and acting on your inner guidance. So you guys are not following your inner guidance, okay? That's why your vibe is taking a dive. So you got shock collar saccharin is blocked and your throat chakra is blocked. And this is for uh, a Sagittarius and a Virgo. To ask, okay, so the Sagittarius and the Virgo as well need to ask themselves some questions. Do you have a sense of integrity? And, and accepting and trusting and acting on your own inner guidance. Okay? It's a spiritual block. Yeah, it's a spiritual block. That's a spiritual block, my friend. Okay, yeah, spiritual block. Crown. Yeah. Your spiritual perception, consciousness, higher consciousness, crown. Block. <laughs> over intellectual and over rigid in your belief systems. Pop your box, Capricorn. Yeah. Yeah, Capricorn, you're over intellectual. <laughs> yeah. Over intellectual. Your vibe's taking a dive. That's a spiritual block. That's blocking your crown. Overly rigid belief systems. Pop your box, my friend. Okay, Cap, you need to pop your box. You got to create a position of strength on your journey. Yeah, you need to go deeper. And crown means that you need to go deeper as well. You need to go deeper and you don't want to. You need to go deeper. Okay, because you got some overly rigid belief systems and you're over intellectual. That's funny. My uh, kid's father's over intellectual. I said possum one day. We seen a family of possums. He corrected me, says it's not possum, it's opossum. I said, I don't give a damn. Possum, opossum, what? What? <laughs> but we worked for 20 years, though. Okay? Self-knowledge. Self-knowledge. Knowledge, the guide. Okay. So you need some self-knowledge to guide you in your development. Okay? That's why I said you need to go deeper. Yeah. Crown means you need to go deeper. Okay? Self knowledge. You need to go deeper about. You need to go deeper about yourself, cat. You need some self knowledge. That will create a position of strength on your journey. Yeah. So you need to analyze. You need to do a self assessment, my friend, and some self observation, cat. You you need to do a self assessment. This Gemini and, and um, Sagittarius and Virgo need to do a self assessment because you guys make money and um, desires your priority when it comes to making your choices. This is why y'all missing out, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all yeah, missing out on a lot of opportunities because of that. Throw it again. So Capricorn, there's some Capricorns out here that's dealing with a Sagittarius or a Virgo. Okay? Clear, confident speech. Listen to your intuition. Ask yourself the question. Okay? Yeah. Once again, this is your what's topping off your self-mastery. Is this a self-mastery or the chakra? Ah, uh, Cap, this is the, my shot caller deck. Oh, well, we're just going to do shot caller on you. I guess it was meant to be. That's the deck I got, and I need, I'm supposed to use the self-mastery. Oh, well, uh, Cap, we're not going gonna to keep it pushing. Um, clear, confident speech. Listen to your intuition. Asking yourself that question. Okay, you need, yeah, you don't, you're not listening to your intuition because, once again, you guys make money and your desires priority. Uh, when y'all making y'all choices. We're going to keep saying that. That's what's stopping off your read. This is why we have a um, uh, sense of integrity. And you don't you don't have a tech integrity when you guys do this. Accepting, trusting, and acting on your inner guidance. It's right here for throat. Shot call of throat. You don't act on your inner guidance. Okay? Right here again. Inner guidance. Do you listen to your intuition? This is inner guidance. This is intuition. Third eye. Cancer, cancer in the mix. So, Cap, you having some nightmares and confused muddled thinking. This is why you have the crown right here. Okay? Your third eye. Okay? You having nightmares. Confused and you have muddled thinking. Okay? Yeah. Solar plexus, shot caller solar. Feel powerful and control of light. Ask yourself a question. Are you able to say no, Cap? Pop your box. Can you say no? So, shot caller, uh, solar is out here. This is Leo and Aries. Sa uh, shot caller, saccharin. That is Pisces and Scorpio. Okay. 
So if there's a Pisces and Scorpio as well, I should have said that. That less money and desires are they priority when they are uh, making choices. Yes. And now we have a Leo and an Aries. The star color solar is uh, connected to Leos and Aries. Okay. Feeling powerful and in control of your life. Ask yourself a question. You don't feel control and power of your life because you're not able to say no, Cap. And you're not able to say no, Leo and Aries, because, because this is a self-indulgence. Okay? Yeah. Self-indulgence, my friend. Self-defeating behavior. Yeah. You have, you fit, set. So, when you have, when you feel powerful and in control of life, that is a balanced solar plex. Shot caller solar. When you feel powerful and in control of your life. Okay? Now. We got nightmares for the third eye cancer. So there's a cancer out here that's having nightmares. Okay. You need to meditate, cancer, and put on your bottle warrior prayer. Although this is a cap read, I'm gonna tell uh, the cancer. You need to uh put on your battle warrior prayer and fast, my friend. Okay. So now shot color solar, we get back to Capricorn. Self-indulgence just ruin your life. You you have no control or your power of no power in your life. And you're not able to say no to your self-indulgence because that's just why we have up here money and desires are your priority when you're making your choices, okay? So self-indulgence is part of your money and your desires, right? Correct? Could be alcohol, adultery, violence, looking at the opposite sex, pop your box, practicing fornication, okay? Y'all practicing fornication. That is a self-defeating behavior, and that's a big, big spiritual block. Your vibe will take a dive. See, the reason I do these, these RIPs and the self-masteries and the shot callers, because to hit certain dimensions and to hit certain frequencies, that's why I don't use the labels and cables. You have to get rid of this shit. You have to balance. For instance, I'm going to give y'all a pop tip real quick. I don't give a damn what nobody does to you. I don't give a damn what they say to you. I don't give a fuck how wrong they are. When you're on your journey, you got to sit on your motherfucking hands to raise that frequency. You have to. You have to. I don't care what nobody do. You have to raise the frequency to hit the different dimensions to go to help to, to elevate. You have to. You you have to. You have to forgive. Who slept with your mama, who slept with your husband, who slept with your sister, who slept with your cousin. You got to forgive folks that fucked your money over, who stole from you. You got to forgive people who slapped the fuck out of you. And once again, forgiveness is not sending any negative thoughts or wanting in revenge. You guys get fucking forgiveness fucked up like it's a sentence or something. All forgiveness is, just like when I address and rest shit, I don't send people negative vibrations. I don't think of them being negative. I don't have any negative thoughts. I address you and I arrest you, and that's it. So just a pop tip for you guys, okay? Because that's the only way. Your thoughts got your shocks blocked. If you want to change your life, start with your thoughts, because your thoughts is what gets you caught. And I, when I'm serious, when I say your energy will shape you, shift you, or shit you. I'm serious about that. Okay? I'm not trying to be cute. So self-indulgent, self-defeating behavior cap. Yeah. Self-defeating behavior. Okay. Heart chakra. Shot call a heart. So the heart... Uh, heart uh, I'm not going to say there's a Libra and Taurus in the mix because this is the 594 hertz that you need to put on, my friend. Because your heart is blocked. Okay? It's because the self-indulgence and the fornication alcohol is blocking your heart chakra. Uh, making money and uh, money a priority and your desires over a priority when you're making a choice. It's blocking your heart chakra as well. Cap? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Blocking your heart chakra. Yes, sir. It's a cancer having nightmares. Okay. So put on 594 hertz. You guys get to know your um your numbers, frequencies. 
Okay? They go deeper than what you can do. There's a Scorpio out here. Your heart chakra is blocked too, Scorpio. I almost want to say, look. Yeah, your heart chakra is blocked too, Scorpio. So, Cap, you may have a Scorpio in the mix. Shot caller, Sacrus out here again. So, there's definitely a Pisces and a Scorpio wants to right out here that you may be dealing with. Okay? So, uh, you, <clears throat> there's a Pisces and Scorpio that's overeating or undereating. Mm-hmm. You have repressed emotions you need to deal with and some tra trauma. So, Capricorn, you're overeating. Yeah, there's a cap out here that's overeating. Uh-huh. Slash under. So, if you overeat, it blocks your shot caller sacrum. If you undereat, it blocks it. Okay? So, that needs to be cleared out. Pisces and Scorpio as well. And cap. Y'all over here overeating or under y'all overeating. I'm gonna say overeating. Yeah. Yeah, you overeating here. Cause y'all y'all like that money. Y'all over here fornicating and shit. Yeah, when you fornicating and drinking and all that, having a good time. Yeah, you go you tend to overeat. Yeah. Y'all overeating, huh? Cause y'all out here fornicate. There's a Scorpio too. I just picked up his fornicate. Yeah. Gemini as well. Yeah. Leo. Sagittarius, I don't know why you coming up, and this is not even your your uh your uh shot caller read. This is my shot caller read. I'm sorry, you guys. This is not the self mastery. This is the shot caller read. I picked up the wrong deck, but uh, I'm not not the wrong deck. I'm just saying maybe this is the deck Father wanted me to use for um, the caps tonight. So we're gonna flow with it and go with it, okay? So cap, you need to release, regroup, and repair. You gotta release. You gotta release this self indulgence. Yeah. Okay. And this is why we have repair here. We got repair right here because this is what the 594 uh, hertz do. It repairs and restores you, okay? Because you definitely need to put on your battle warrior prayer, my friend, and uh, fast because your flesh is raging war on your spirit so you can't hear your spirit. You got to remember, devil, the devil will be hide behind spirit, my friends, okay? Let's see what else we have to recap it and I'm going to leave it alone. We're gone. Balance of the material and spiritual worlds. Pop your box, okay? And stop the worrying and watching and waiting. Pop your box. So let's sum you up. Okay. So Capricorn, Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, Cancer, Leo, Aries, and I did say Pisces, Scorpio, Okay. All the, that I mentioned, all the zodiacs I mentioned, all y'all need to regroup, repair, and restore. This is a cap read. So, cap, I'm gonna talk to you. Cap, you gotta repair and regroup and restore because you're allowing money and your desires priority over your choices. Okay, which it says right here that is you need to balance. Where'd it go? You need to balance your material and your spiritual world, my friend. Where'd it go? Because it says stop the, stop the watching, wondering, waiting. Okay. And I love this right here. I'm going to have to say it because what's happening is this is the crown again. Ask yourself a question. You have no recognition of your own divinity. Okay. You don't. You have no recognition of your own divinity, um, Cap. So what we have here, um, you need to balance, release, regroup, and repair. Okay. Because your your shocks are blocked. Shock collar sacra is blocked. Your throat chakra is blocked. Your crown is blocked. Your third eye is blocked. Your uh, shot caller solar plexus are blocked. So, saccharin, chakra, twice out here. Throat block, throat's block, third eye block, solar plex block, and saccharin chakra block cap. So, to create that position of strength, you need to unblock yourself. Okay? Uh, I haven't gotten into uh, overactive chakras and underactive chakras. So, that also can be a problem. So, we'll go over that. Um, I just did the shot call and read for Cap because those are cards I picked up. But we're going to get deeper into overactive and underactive chakras as well, okay? Because they can be overactive or underactive. So you're, you need to go ahead and uh, work out your shocks, Cap, okay? And create the position of strength in your journey and start with your thoughts. Remember, your energy will shape you, shift you, or shit you, okay? Create that position of strength first with your thoughts. Leave the outside on the outside. Take care of your inside, my friend. All right, that's it for Capricorn. Now we're going to do, uh, 
Was it Taurus? No, Sagittarius. We're just saying Sagittarius. We're going to do self mastery for Sagittarius. This was the shot caller read for Cap. But um, I guess it was meant to be that way. So I'll talk to you guys later and have a good one. VIP, you're alive. And this is Alfreda J. Talk to you later. Bye bye.